Hello, today I'm going to um, change this USB Type-C head from this uh, wire. Um, this big wire, long wire, one day when I use it, I bend the head and the head is now um, is moving up and down and I cut it up, cut it uh, apart and uh, now I can uh, see what is inside. There are four wires there, and um, when I hold it like this, it is quite loose because I think when I use it, I bent it. I got another wire which is not good, also. I might uh, here, not good because when I connect it, it's, um, it disconnect and connect, it's not very stable. So what I'm going to do is uh, take this out, the head, I think this is good, and uh, put it here. And uh, this is actually a very good wire, but now the head, the, uh, the plug is not good. It says here, let me show you if I can, it's a 5A here, I think it's 5M. And it is a very good wire, very thick, and uh, it's good for fast ch charging. So uh, I'm not going to dump it, I'm going to uh, uh, replace the, the, type, the plug that make it uh, work again. Here I've got the uh, USB test monitor. It can show the uh, current and the voltage and the temperature on the screen. So let me test this wire. And I use my phone to plug it. Um, the phone says charge, charging slowly. Uh, normally with this wire, it's just, it, it doesn't have this screen because the wire is uh, very powerful with the current. Charging slowly means the current is not good. Let me check. Um, it says 0 0.08 M. Let me get it closer. The closest I can get is here. Okay. 0 0.08 M, which is nothing. When I put this uh, charging wire, um, charge my phone overnight, actually my phone will, will uh, have 0% in the morning. Okay, let me um, use this wire. This wire here, I put a not good here, this short wire, um, it is not very good. Let me check it. Um, it says charging slowly also. And the current is uh, 0 0.45 amp, uh, which is normal on this wire. Um, this is not a uh, very powerful wire. It only delivers around uh, 450 uh, milliamp. So my phone is charging very slowly. And also, um, the problem on this one is um, when the, you use the wire to bend here or bending here, um, over the time um, the wire inside will be broken. So uh, when we use this charging wire to avoid uh, that happen, we, uh, keep this straight. When you're charging, I know it's really hard to uh, keep an eye on it. Um, but uh, the weakest part on the all the wire charging wire is here and here. So uh, if you want to use your powerful wire for long, uh, don't bend here. So actually, what we got is the, um, a very strong wire with the broken head and uh, a, a normal wire with a uh, good head. So um, this type C, I will um, take it out and uh, put it here to mix this wire back to life. It should deliver up to um, 1.8 
M on charging is very good. So let's do it. So uh, this is quite tight. I think some glue is inside. So let me heat it up. If you had a um, hot air gun, you can use it. But if you follow my channel recently, you will know that uh, my um, hot air gun is not working. Uh, you can um, click the icon above and uh, if you have any idea to repair my um, hot air gun, you can leave the comment there. I can use your method and your comment to replace uh, to uh, repair my hot air gun. So uh, I think I burn a little bit here. See if I can take this out. So finally, I managed to take this out. So now we can cut it open. Make sure I don't damage the uh, shaker port inside. There are four wires, as a normal USB does. Red, right, green, and uh, black. So this is four pins, USB type. Gently, oh, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, copper wire there. Uh, actually, this is not too bad. I've seen uh, some some uh, wire with just very few copper wire there. So it says GH seven a uh, four seven V. GH47V6 and there are R1 and C1 I think it is uh, some resistor and uh, capacitor there on the other side the top set inverter V is positive with the red wire D minus D plus is the, the data which are for that for this wire is just for charging and we're not going to use it but I will connect it and the ground G inverter G is the um, ground with the black wire. Okay, before the connection of the wire, make sure we know um, red and the black is the positive negative and the white one is the data minus and the green one is the data plus. So let me cut this, see if I can um, get, rid of, get rid of this. So I've got uh, these two now, this one's to attach to the wire. Put this side by side, it's, um, the right run is a little bit shorter, 
like can uh, we shoulder it and then it doesn't matter it becomes shorter and then position of the wire the same so from the left is black and then uh, green D plus right D minus and a V VCC on the right hand side so uh, these two looks quite similar but I don't know after I change it it will deliver the same current but it's worth to try see at the back on the left hand side there are two SMT um, surface mount component R2 and R1 and the right hand side there are also two yep, capacitor and um, R and the right hand one is empty We found that one of the pin is detached. The one on the left. So uh, we have to solder it back. So let me fix this as well. Let me use a uh, thinner wire. That's a zero point six, zero point four millimeters. Looks, uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's done. Now uh, we take this one from this knuckle wire, and uh, now we uh, shoulder it on the good wire. And we use this uh, four millimeters wire. Uh, very thin this one we cut this Okay, let me test it. So no more message saying the slow charging. This is back to a uh, fast charging.
time is 16.34 with 45% nest ok 5 minutes later 51% further 5 minutes later it is 57% so every 5 minutes it go up um, quite, quite nicely so the wire is back to live So finally seal this up. Let's also make sure the wire does not touch each other. No soft circuit. It is not a UV glue. Just a normal glue for daily basis. So it takes a while to dry up. Also what I can do is to uh, put this in and put this back. Make sure it has the enough length for that type of the plug when it is being used. So let me try plug in. Make sure it's long enough. Yep, it is tight. Yep, it is on. Unplug it. Yep. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, watching this video. If you like it, you can subscribe it and uh, share. Also, comment below what can I do better. And um, please also hit the bell for the next video for the notification. Thank you very much.